So today, uh, I'm going to start working to lay out carpet. First, I've got some insulation uh, that's going to go on the floor. Going to do some trial fitting on it. Not sure if 100% of the areas on the floor are going to get covered in this before the carpet because that may make it too thick with the carpet on top because the carpet already has some pretty thick backing on the back of that. So I'm going to do a little bit of trial and error on that. And also I'm not exactly sure how I want to adhere the carpet. Typically you glue it down and this stuff obviously has a self-adhesive backing to it as well. However, there's some access panels in the back. I want to make sure I can still get to those. And then just in general, I like to be able to kind of inspect things during an annual, things like that. So I'm going to try to figure it out exactly how I want to do this. Um, so I'll do a little bit of trial and error and kind of figure that out. And, uh, yeah, go from there. There we go. All right, so here's the initial rough fit of uh, all the carpet. I just kind of laid it in there just to see where it goes. Definitely like the color. I think it's going to be good. This piece is at home that'll get covered there. I've got made a new uh, new board for that. There's the back. Overall looks good. So the back there can definitely get the insulation under it. Flooring underneath here and here. Plenty of room to do the soundproof insulation under there. A little bit concerned here because you can already see that there is not a lot of clearance under here under the seat track just with the carpet there. And I'm a little concerned right now about the uh, the rollers working well on that the way it is now. So I'm gonna probably bring out uh, one of the seats just to kind of test that in the rollers there before I glue anything in, just to make sure there's enough clearance under there for it to do its job and go from there. But uh, yeah, overall uh, pretty good cut, pretty good fit. Uh, I think there'll be some minor trimming, um, especially along here. The carry through spar, um, I really want to give some thought as to how I want to attach this. I wasn't too pleased when I took off the, the one that was on there because these are your main wing spar bolts on the top and there's ones on the bottom. Obviously you want to be able to inspect this stuff uh, during the annual inspections each year. The carpet that I took off of here was glued down to all of this, including covering these, um, and it had never been removed. So I don't uh, know when the last time during an annual inspection anybody looked at these. 1997s when that carpet was put in, it definitely hadn't moved since then. So that was a little concerning to me. Fortunately, we had the wing spar AD done, and um, everything's good with the bolts. Um, we checked the bolts corrosion and all that. Everything looks really good on the bolts and on the spar. So that's all in good shape. So I'll definitely have this covered, but um, I'm probably not going to permanently adhere the top. So maybe I'll do something on the back side uh, and the front side here to give it some grip. Again, Velcro might be an option so that it's easy to come on and off for the annuals and it won't uh, trap and embed moisture up in my wing spar bolts. So what I later realized is it's not necessary to apply any kind of Velcro or really anything to hold this carpet in place in this spot. Once you wrap the carpet around and slightly down on the back side of that, and then when you push that wooden seat bench up against it and put the trim piece along the back, which secures that bench in place for the back seats, that actually presses up against that piece of carpet and holds it real tight against the back side. And then as you wrap it around the front side, it comes down pretty tight. And then the carpet that's on the floor under the front seats, as it comes back up against it, it holds the carpet at its base really tight as well. So no need to apply any kind of Velcro or really anything. You just kind of wrap it tight around that. And then both sides get held in place by what's in front and in back of it. So under the feet in the front, I think there's definitely enough room to do both the padding and the carpet. It's more the seat tracks 
that I'm worried about because I don't want the carpet to be up so high that it's binding into the tracks. So maybe some in the middle, but not quite as far out to the edge. Looks like the carpet will need a little bit of trimming around some of this stuff, but overall seems like a pretty close fit. So I think what I'll do is I'll just kind of use the carpet as a template. I'll cut out a piece that'll match and then trim those to make those both fit a little bit better. The back part here where the baggage is, there's two access plates there. That's the part I'm not 100% sure how I want to do it. Because the plan was to use the self-adhesive to stick the insulation down and then glue the carpet to the insulation. Um, I could cut out the panels for the insulation, but then I'd have to cut a hole in the carpet, which I don't think I want to do that. So I think what I may do is glue this down in the back, cut, cutting out the access panels um, so that those can be removed easily. And then I think maybe the carpet in the back there, I'll just do Velcro around the edges to the insulation. That way when I want to get to the access panels, I can pull up the carpet the insulation will stay down except for the access panels um, and then I can pull those out. So I'm going to cut the video now. I'll pick it back up when I actually start the installation process. Uh, I think it's going to be a while. I'm going to do a lot of kind of test fitting, measuring, moving stuff around kind of thing just to get it all kind of really laid out in my head before I make any cuts and start gluing things down. So yeah, you get the gist of it. Just going to try pieces different places, kind of get an idea where everything goes carpet all comes cut in a lot of different pieces. Some are pretty obvious, uh, some aren't, um, but I'm sure as it goes along they become more obvious. Uh, some of the little smaller pieces that is. So yeah, um, I got some of that stuff to do and um, probably before I put the carpet in here too, I'm going to repaint the flap handle. So I'm going to sand that down and repaint that because that'll be easy. And also this door opening, I have to do the same thing, just touching up the door opening with some white paint there. So I'll get that stuff done before I finalize the carpet. But yeah, that's the plan. We'll see you in a little bit. So I did the test fit with this under the carpet, under the seat rails, and that seems like it's gonna work okay, as long as I don't put this right up against the rail. So with the carpet there, the rail slide fine. So this I'll put in the center and I'll leave probably an inch on each side of that. Everywhere else it looks good. I've got Velcro, so the plan is to lay this down back here. I'll adhere it to this, I'm taking the access plates off so I'll cut out holes for that so the access holes can be lifted out even though this is adhered. Oh and I fixed the headliner back here too. Um, mentioned that on the earlier video. I had it glued in the wrong spot. It's supposed to be glued to this wall for the hat rack. It actually came out pretty good because I was able to fix some of the wrinkles that I didn't like back here. And then I'll be doing some similar stuff along the way here. Like this gets cut out. That's got the, um, the piece of the trim that goes around that. So that's all fine. And this is fine because there's a circular piece of trim there that goes on the air vent. But this right here, I don't like. So when I get this cut, I'll be able to get in there. And I'll loosen that up and adjust a few more spots. So I think by the end, the headline is going to come out just the way I wanted it. So that's good. So I'm taking the plates off um, just so I can figure out where I want the hole to cut out that. And then again, I'll adhere a piece of that right to the back of each access plate um, so that they can be taken out anytime we need to get in these areas during the annual inspection. This top part doesn't matter, that's riveted down, that never comes out anyway, so we'll just glue that all down to that. So it all looks really good under there. There's no sign of corrosion or anything. That's all great. There is a good bit of uh, just old dust particles, stuff like that down in there. 
and I would vacuum that out, but it's like they already sprayed in there with the Corrosion X, which if you're not aware of it, not familiar with it, Corrosion X, awesome stuff. Um, you can fog basically the inside of your wings, tail, areas like this with that, and it will seek out, bond to any corrosion that's happening, any rust or anything like that, and also then prevent the future. So kind of an oily residue in there basically. So I can't really vacuum all that stuff out because it's kind of stuck in there. And so now with the holes cut out, uh, I'll have to go ahead and put the access plates back on. And then I'll cover that with the insulation. I'll put a little bit of painter's tape on here just to hold it on there, but uh, really the carpet's going to do all the work. Once I put the carpet back on, these things aren't going anywhere. And no, I know the painter's tape's not going to hold up after years and heat and all that. Uh, but the carpet's going to lay on top of that, so it's really there just to kind of keep it down while I lay the carpet on there. Um, but it makes it really easy if you get to the act, uh, inspection plates during the annual inspection. Just peel off the old painter's tape, lift it up, unscrew it, get the access plates off, and then put some more on when you're done. And then the last step here is just finishing up that little back strip with the rest of the soundproofing to finish the baggage compartment. So the carpet has two finished edges, the edge that goes against the sidewall and the edge that goes against the back of the airplane. Both of those have been sewn to a nice finished edge. The side that goes where the baggage door is, as well as the front edge, those are just cut carpet unfinished, so they left a little bit of excess there in case you need to trim it to fit your airplane. In my case, I was lucky. It was pretty much a perfect fit, so I didn't need to trim the section at all. Where the baggage door is, there's going to be two pieces of metal trim that are going to go along that edge, and that'll secure the carpet near the baggage door. The side wall, when you put that wall panel in, that's going to hold the carpet down on that side. And then the front edge of the carpet is going to get held in place when you put the seat bench down on top of it, because the seat bench goes down and overlaps on top of that carpet and then there's a metal piece of trim that'll go on top of both of those to secure them both in place. 
So your carpet's going to be held down perfect without any type of glue or Velcro or anything else, which will also make it a lot easier. When it's time to do the annual inspection, you just remove the pieces of metal trim and then you can lift the carpet up and out of the way. So here you can see I'm laying in the new seat bench that I made using the old seat bench as a template. I've made a separate video of exactly how I did that. You can watch that video here if you need to replace the one that's in your airplane. Mine had been in there, I think, since the inception, so um, that wood was pretty old. So I decided to just go ahead and make a new one. It's not too difficult. In the rest of the video, camera angles are gonna get a little bit tricky on exactly what I'm doing, but essentially, I've laid the new seat bench in place, and then I'll put the new piece of carpet for that on top. Again, this has been cut to fit really well. Really didn't need to do much trimming at all on the outer edges for that. It was a really nice fit. So in the rest of the video, I'm going to come around to the front and I'm just going to glue that onto the board. I'm doing it in the airplane so that I know the carpet's exactly where I want it to be, overlapping that board a little bit on each side, get a nice fit. And I'll glue that down in the airplane and secure it in place. So here's where I'm at so far. Um, I've got the board that covers um, all the hydraulics and the, the lines and cables and all that. That's covered, that's been trimmed and that's in place now. And then behind that you can see the floor of the luggage area. That's covered. Um, I've got the soundproofing down under that. That's all adhered. But I've been busy up here in the front. Under here, uh, we've got soundproof insulation underneath the floor carpet, and that has been glued into place. And then behind it, you can see here in the, this is underneath the two front seats. This is adhered down. I, I left a little bit of gap where the track runs here. And then I put the carpet over that and did a test fit with it. The track still runs nicely under that. So I'll be able to keep this here and then I'll do a strip here as well as here on the outside and that'll give a little bit of soundproofing for the floor and then lay the carpet in on that so that's where i'm at right now finish that up um didn't film a lot of this because it's it's you know it's fairly straightforward you just basically fitting cutting soundproof insulation and then um you just put the uh the glue right on top of this stuff here and the foam on the back side of the carpet adheres to that really well. And uh, then uh, once that's done, the next challenge is to uh, go ahead and cover this. And then of course there's carpet here in the middle that'll run that as well. Neither one of these are gonna get soundproofing on them. All right, I'm gonna get back to work. Um, yeah, there we go. So now I just need to glue down the soundproofing under the front seat area. So I'll speed this up just to kind of move the process along, but you get the idea here. I'll make some minor trimming to it, and then I'll do some test fitting with the carpet over top of that after I glue this uh, last little strip down here. It's not rocket science, just take your time with it. You can see I'm putting down the centerpiece of the carpet here and just tucking it down into those seat track edges. It fits really nice in there. It's a, again, a really nice fit. AirTex has really accurate templates. Uh, if you talk to them, uh, they'll say, yeah, we, we do a pretty good job for airplanes that were hand built. Um, obviously there's always some, some minor differences in each aircraft as it comes off the uh, assembly line but their templates seem to fit pretty good. So I'll just put some glue down underneath this. I'll put that one down and then I'll do the same thing on the outer edges. And then I'll just repeat the process on the other side. You'll see that here in a minute. The outer edges of the carpet 
don't have a finished edge, that's where you would do the trimming. The part that goes up against the seat track itself has got a nice sewn finished edge so that as your seat track slides back and forth, you're not going to fray the carpet or anything like that. They tuck right up in there really nice. And here again, just repeating the same process for the other side, and that'll finish off the, uh, the front of the airplane. Once I'm done with this, the last two steps, I, I didn't film, but it's just wrapping the carpet around the wings bar. Um, and again, we talked about how that gets secured in place without needing any glue or anything like that. And then also that center strip uh, where your flap handle is and all that, that actually has four snaps. Um, they snap down in place, believe it or not, because that way you can take that off and put it back on during the annual. So if your airplane doesn't have the little snap receptacles, if you will, on the other side of it, that's okay. They supply those. Basically, it's a screw head that has kind of the, uh, the male side of the snap on it. And you screw that down in place of some of the screws that you may already have on that center console there. And then on the carpet itself is the female side of the snap. Um, so you just, you'll snap it down in four places as you'll see in the pictures. That'll show you here at the end. And here it is. This is the final look at it. Um, there's some minor adjustments and trimming that I'll do uh, once everything's finalized in there, but essentially that was the end of the initial carpet install for the day and then I'll take the seat bench back out, that wooden seat bench for the back seats. I'll take that back out and put all the brackets and things back on that. And then we'll do the final install on that coming up in the next video, which will cover the installation of all the wall panels. So look for that. Give us a thumbs up. If you're enjoying this content, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next video.